Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are in Northern Light Zoo, sandbox build here in Planet Zoo. And today I want to work on the Asian Highlands section with a Bactrian camel habitat, which is going to be right here at the entrance. So let's get started. So I've got to incorporate these kind of wonky paths, which I want to keep for the most part. And so I have paths on three sides, and they slope pretty dramatically. So let's keep that in mind as we get started here. I'm just making a, a little bit of a moat here. It doesn't it probably doesn't have to be that deep. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a pond down at this end. And then on this side, again, does not need to be that extreme. We can just kind of terrace that a little bit. You know, that might not make a terrible waterfall. Hmm. Yeah, that's a thought. It definitely put a little waterfall there. Continue to think about that. And maybe this side as well. Gotta remember, I'm building for camels, not tigers here. This doesn't have to be the Fort Knox of zoo exhibits. Need to find some place for the habitat gate in here. You not do that, that's a little bit too steep. Something like that. Let's get our habitat gate in here. Null barrier here along the back of the uh, crane habitat. Null barriers never have to be very precise. I want them to take in most of the area. Let's get the camels in here before we go any further. And we'll get a couple. Would help if I connected the path. There we go.
Yeah, that's gonna be fun right there. Let's see what we can do about that. Let's try to move that gate back there. Yeah, now I can fix that terrain. Yeah, so we've got a little water here. Let's turn on auto paint. Off random rotation. It's going to get these in here. Uh, like that. Yeah, that will work. But I want to get the camels in here so I can at least get a sense of the scale for them. This is going to be a pretty big habitat, of course. Because that's just what I build. Make sure that they can utilize everything here. well. Go back into terrain here. Look, we're just going to smooth this side out. So that's not too terribly large. It's I've definitely built bigger. Okay, let's get some terrain painting going. This habitat, what's going to make this look really good is going to be rocks. Lots and lots of rocks, in particular these rocks.
Alright, so just all along the edge here. Pretty decent. Get rid of my guides now, I don't need that anymore. Get in some of these nice large trees, I almost never use these. We'll do that again up here. I'm going to turn my random rotation back on. as well. This is going to be kind of a pretty obviously artificial waterfall. We're not worried about super realism here. this. Kind of like so. Wish the camels in this game were more accurate to scale. Surprise Frontier still hasn't fixed that. and loads and loads of fake rocks.
take out the one that's overhanging, and now we'll go back into the plants. Pretty good. We're mostly focusing on this side of the habitat, though. I've got to remember to do something over here. Uh, let's get some Himalayan birch in here. I always like these trees. And some hawthorn. Plant this all around in here. Get quite a bit of it in here. It's a good stand in for grass. So you can kind of see the plant palette that's developing for this particular habitat. Pretty simple, just the large tree, Himalayan birch, and then some hawthorn. And we'll continue that over here on this side. Same thing, what we've done over there, I want to do on this, on the other side, I want to do on this side. Just to make sure it stays fairly cohesive. add more rocks. Okay, so we've kind of terraced their habitat a little bit. And we're going to continue that down here.
Same thing with our favorite hawthorn bush. plant up more around the edges. You would expect that places where the animals aren't going to walk as much will be a little bit more planted up. a little bit of rocks to the bottom of the pond here. Just break it up visually. our little waterfall effect here. Alright, so that's the interior of the habitat. Let's work on the exterior a little bit. plant some azaleas around the edges for color. Then over here by our entrance gate, I got this off the workshop by the way. I want to put in a lot more of these. Let's see, do we have our ah, hydrangea? I want to get in a lot of this. Because I want some good color over here. Cherry blossom tree or two.
just placing this crowberry bush. On the edge just has some edging foliage. Realistically, we would have a guest fence here as well. There's the edge of the habitat. And we've got a little bit more space over here. do the same thing over here. So that filled in that space really nicely there. Now have the camels as at the entrance to the Asian Highlands section. I think I'm going to call it good here. Um, nice, quick, easy build. Camels are a good space filler kind of habitat animal. Um, they're not hugely high draw, so I'm not worried about putting them on the main path without it causing too much congestion. Uh, the animals that people really want to see are going to be more up in here, so they'll move past. Alright, so if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave it a like, comment down below, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, um, hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified whenever I post a new video. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.